Hey everybody, just a quick tour of Screencastify, a really simple but pretty powerful screencasting tool. Uh, first things you need to know about, you need to log into Chrome. And when you log into Chrome your, uh, with your Nauset school account, your profile picture should come up here. And then this is the Screencastify uh, Google extension. This one probably looks uh, familiar to you. This one's been around for a while, but Barbara just pushed this one out, so everybody should have it. Uh, when you click it, you're going to have the ability to uh, screencast your browser tab, your entire desktop, or just your webcam. Webcam's great if you want to do like a one-way uh, video for your kids with your face in it, saying hi, um, and it really easily goes right into Google Classroom or your drive. I'll show you that in a second. Down here is your microphone. If you want that on, you want to make sure that this is going up and down when you speak. Uh, I do like to not embed the webcam. I do like to come down. You can embed the webcam. It's actually good, too. Um, I just didn't shower today. Countdown three seconds so we can change that amount of time. And then the drawing tools are always pretty good to have. Don't worry about these two for now. So when you go and record, this will record my desktop. And it will say your entire screen or the application window. So I'm going to take the entire screen. I'm going to click that, come down and press share. This will give me a little countdown here and it will tell me that it's actively sharing my screen right now. So I could go over to either a Google Doc if they were my instructions for the kids. I could um, go over to any anything you can find right that will show up on your desktop. You can record your desktop. So other cool things over here, I have different mouse pointer options. So, um, you know, you can read through that, the focus mouse, that. Oh. Um, so anyhow, different options for different things here. I want to get rid of that. Okay. So you can also, um, you know, it's hard to do. Maybe you need a mouse or I'm just not that talented. But if this were a poem, you could circle things. If this were a piece of you know, art, you could highlight and talk about certain things. If you made a mistake, like me, you can erase certain things. You can even pause too, which is really helpful to kind of like get your thoughts back. If you want to throw your um, picture up there as you talk, hey, you can do that too. Oh, so embarrassing. Um, okay, so that's how that works. And then when you're done, you can hit stop, stop sharing down here or up top. And the second you hit stop sharing, um, Screencastify kind of works its magic where now look at all these amazing options. It's saving to your drive automatically. Um, you can copy a link and put that link in an email uh, or Google Classroom, but you can also publish straight to YouTube, send in an email and do that with Classroom right there. You also can download, which I have been downloading mine because you can download as an MP4, so I always have it. It's on my de it's on my um in my computer. I think that's good. You're probably going to want to organize your stuff and uh, and just title things so that you can find it better. Ooh, that was awful. Okay, um, and then if you want to ditch it because it just wasn't a good one, you can do that. Editing, we have even better editing now that we have the upgraded version, but you can definitely trim. You can trim from both sides too. So those are options. And see, that's that was my little trimmed off the beginning so I could save that trim and that's all I'd get, uh, two seconds. So anyhow, um, I'm gonna cancel that. That's pretty much it. You get the shareable link, you pop it wherever you wanna put it and uh, you're good to go. All right, I hope this made sense.